I want you to imagine that you are the captain of your life ship. And as you are sailing towards your destination, I believe that your life journey is seldom a smooth sailing. You may be facing a lot of challenges in life, and that's where the quality of resilience is so critical to allow you to weather these storms and emerge stronger. So as you are facing this adversity, how do you navigate these challenges with resilience? And speaking from experience, whenever I face any challenges in life, I always refer to these four ways to start building my resilience, be it personally or professionally. So what are they? Way number one, eliminate these three words in your vocabulary and start embracing a growth mindset. For example, these three words are, I can't, I try, and I hope. When you say the word I can't, your brain immediately shut down and stop you from taking action. Next is I try. When you say the word try, it doesn't mean that you will do it because there's no guarantee. And the last word is I hope. In reality, hope is not a strategy because it has no predictability. So when you are eliminating these three words in your vocabulary, it gives you an open mind to give you an idea that nothing is impossible to solve a particular problem. And that's where you always see challenges as opportunities for your own personal and learning development. Way number two, your EQ eats IQ for breakfast. As you know, leadership is a team sport, whereby this concept focuses on emotional intelligence over cognitive intelligence. There are four domains in emotional intelligence. They are self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, and relationship management. Self-awareness is about understanding your own beliefs, values, feelings, and actions. So when you understand yourself better, it is more easier to control your emotions whenever it arises. Self-management is your ability to regulate your behaviors, thoughts, and emotions in a way that is better serve you and your work. For example, when you have a lot of stress going on, or maybe you feel a bit overwhelmed about your work. How can you adopt self-care to really take care of yourself so that you won't get burned out easily? Next, social awareness is about understanding how another person is feeling, what are their emotions, and take on a different perspective on a situation. And when it comes to relationship management, it is all about communicating clearly and also maintain good relationship with the other person despite their cultural differences. So by developing emotional intelligence, it enables leaders to connect with the team, inspire trust and respect, and able to manage and handle conflict better, making them more effective than just relying on IQ alone. Way number three, don't be a lone wolf. Always seek support from friends, family, coach, mentor, or the supported network. Sometimes when we face challenges in life, we need a listening ear to process our feelings, gain a different perspective, and also feel less alone in our struggles. For example, you can talk to somebody like a family member, friends, or even a coach or mentor to discuss about what are the challenges that you are facing and take on a different perspective from them to see how you can resolve a situation. And sometimes they may be telling you what you don't know, and that's where you start to increase your self-awareness. Way number four, maintain a positive attitude and use the power of how can I to focus on solution rather than problems. I often use it all the time whenever I face any problems in life because it gives me a different perspective of solving a particular problem. So when facing a problem, a typical person may say, oh, I can't do it, it's so difficult. But what if you can change the words and using the power of how can I to think in a different way? By for example, how can I solve it in a different way? How can I make it less problematic in the future? How can I eliminate this problem once and for all? So when you start to use the phrase, how can I, it helps you to think deeper and be more creative in problem solving. Remember, when you face adversity with resilience, you demonstrate your captaincy by taking control over your life ship, stirring it away from despair and sail towards your fulfillment. So those are the four ways to navigate challenges with resilience. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you can receive my video updates weekly. And that's all for now and I'll see you in my next video.